Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick review on my Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet. So this is in the Empreinte version and mine is in the Rose Pruger color. It's the most beautiful pink color. I really, really love this color. I did also look at the monogram version when I was in store, but I didn't like it as much, number one, because um, the monogram is only on the bottom portion and then the top is like a smooth casket. And I didn't like it because I thought that was gonna show a lot more wear and tear. And whereas this is like the pebbled, um, pebbled leather and so I feel like it's gonna um, not show as much wear over time. And then also the monogram version, because it's canvas, it was very stiff and I didn't like that. And it didn't feel as luxurious in my hand. And also when you were like putting cards in and out, I just felt like it was just really stiff. And so I really like this version. Um, Price-wise, this one, and I did check this morning because Louis Vuitton recently had a price increase yeah they've been doing a lot of price increases and yeah i don't know what's going on but they are just they're doing it bits and pieces but they're it's really adding up so when i checked this morning this piece is now going for 665 dollars before tax yeah that's a lot and then the monogram version goes for 515 dollars before tax so it is a pricier item however if it is a full, like it's a fully functional wallet, not a card holder, but the size is actually even smaller than a card holder, which I will show you in a bit. So um, let's go into the measurements first of all. Um, first off, the width is, let's see, it's about one eighth of an inch short of four inches. And then the height, it is about one eighth of an inch longer than um, three inches so about four by three inches in dimension and then the width of it or the depth of it is it's really narrow on one side but the other side it is thicker because of this gusset and that zipper right there so it is um, a lot wider here than on the other side um, let's look at the features it says Louis Vuitton on the snap there is a slip pocket on the back when you open it up, it has the um, LV logo on the zipper pull, and this is where you put in your coins. Um, it says Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France in gold foil. There is one, two, three, four card slots. I at first thought this was a card slot, but no, it's sewn down. And then the bill fold area goes all the way across the length of the wallet. So it's really, really great. So now I'm gonna fill this up to show you how it fits um, items. And I have $2 bills. And again, I love it because you don't have to fold your bills. It just goes in with a lot of room to pay, spare. So you could put in foreign currencies, no problem. Um, let's go ahead and put in some credit cards. Um, I'm just using gift cards, but they are the exact size of credit cards. And as you can see, the back um, slip pocket, the cards just go right to the top of the edge. So you do not see the card at all. And then the front slip pocket, the cards go right up to the edge of that as well. So it's perfect. I mean, they sized it just absolutely perfectly. It looks great and clean. And then also on the other side, I will put in another card and see how it just hides right in there like you don't see it at all and then here as well and let's see I'm going to put in another card in the back let's see let's just put this in I usually put in my, like my driver's license here in the back again because it goes in right to the edge of this slip pocket you don't see that card sticking out which I absolutely love. And I think Louis Vuitton did it perfectly in regards to the size of these slots. So if you wanted to, you could double up. So if you double up on the front slots, what happens is that it does um, leave a mark here. And um, I would be worried that it's going to stretch it out too much that the cards would, you know, slip and slide. However, I don't, I wouldn't mind it being um, doubled up in the back slit because it is, um, I guess, more secure because it's all, it goes all the way inside. And so if you wanted to put another card in the back slip pocket, you could without any problem. So you could have six and seven in the back. So seven um, cards inside this wallet, which I think is 
plenty. And then finally, I'm going to take some coins out and show you what it looks like with coins inside of here. So yeah, you can put a lot of coins in here and just um, close it up. And it didn't bulk up. It still looks about the same as it did before um, I put all these cards and cash and coins inside of it. So that's why I love it because it is so compact. So just to give you a better idea of size, I'm gonna compare it to um, my SLGs. So the first SLG I have is my Chanel card holder, which is right here. So this is height-wise the same as the Zoe wallet. Of course, the card holder is a lot flatter, like so. However, width-wise, as you can see, the Zoe wallet is about three eighths of an inch narrower than the card holder. And so that's perfect because when you are limited in space, this, um, I think thickness doesn't matter as much, but this just does not take up a lot of space and it will fit into the tiniest of bags as I will show you in a little bit. So that's what it looks like next to a card holder. Here is my um, Chanel zip coin purse. Here's what it looks like side by side. So the coin purse is about a quarter of an inch shorter than the Zoe wallet. However, the Zoe wallet is, let's see, the Zoe wallet is about three eighths of an inch um, narrower than the zip coin purse. So it is smaller or at least, you know, narrower than this. And then here it is side by side to the Louis Vuitton clay. And as you can see, height wise, the Zoe wallet is about um, maybe three eighths of an inch taller. Width wise, the Zoe wallet is substantially narrower. It's about half an inch. So yeah, if you thought this was small and compact, yeah, this is a full wallet that is as compact as a card holder, which I think is brilliant. Um, Finally, since I do have it with me right now, here is the Hermes Bastia. It is the same height. And because this is only a coin purse, it is narrower than the Zoe wallet by about three eighths of an inch. But with that said, this is a coin purse. You cannot put in any cards into this. However, this carries your cards, your cash, your coins, and it is just about a little bit bigger than a coin purse. So again, you can see why I am raving so much about this piece. So I wanted to bring out a couple of my smaller handbags to show you. The first one is my Chanel mini rectangular and I have it right here. I can get the chains to cooperate with me. So here's my mini rectangular and the Zoe wallet is tiny. I will show you what it looks like inside when you open it up. This is what it looks like inside. And the Zoe wallet inside of here, it just goes, because the turn lock is, you know, where the center of the bag is or the purse is, it goes a little bit past the center. However, look at all that room. I mean, this is a mini rectangular. It's a small purse, but look at all the room that's left in there because this is such a small wallet. And then it also fits in vertically like so. And when it's, oops, when it's vertical, it is exactly the same height. It comes right up to the edge of this um, pocket right here. So yeah, it is perfect. I don't know how Louis Vuitton did it, but they sized it just perfectly for me at least. And then um, I did bring out my tiniest of bags, which is, my most recently required, I mean acquired, <laughs> Trendy CC clutch with chain. And yes, you guys, I did put the sticker back on the CCs. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed about it, but I did wear it without the sticker. But then um, as I was storing it, I noticed that it was still all my authenticity cards. So I just put it back on just to protect it a little bit more. But yeah, like when I wear it, I'll take it off. I will. I promise. <laughs> but yes, this is the tiniest of mini bags. It really is small. However, this Zoe wallet will fit into this. It will fit into it horizontally like so. 
yes, you can tell how small this clutch is. It is small, but the Zoe wallet fits no problem. And it also fits in here vertically like this. And it is a little bit higher than what the um, what the ed edge of this front portion is. However, because the, this is like a flap and it does um, it is higher than than the actual pocket of the purse. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> so it fits in here perfectly. And if if the Zoe wallet fits in here, it will fit into anything. So yeah, that's why I am like raving about it right now. It is such a compact little wallet. It'll fit into any little piece of um, any little handbag, any like it'll fit into your pockets. I mean, it's amazing. I really love this piece. So um, I especially find it useful when I'm traveling. Honestly, I don't use it as much when I am um, home because I do tend to like my card holders better, but I love it when I travel, especially because, you know, when you travel, you do want to carry dollar bills, you do want to carry foreign currency, and then we also travel to Canada quite often, um, and we have family up there, so we go there very, very often, and um, when we're in Canada, we notice that a lot of places take cash only, so we always have to carry cash with us, and so this wallet, you can carry cash, you can carry cards, your coins, and it's so small that it will fit into any any purse I needed to fit into. So yes, I highly, highly recommend this. For the current price, oh, I don't know. I can't say for sure that I would spend that much for this wallet. I do think it's worth it if you can afford it. <laughs> but if you are on a limited budget, I have seen these on um, the pre-love sites for less. Um, not so much like Fashion File or places like that, but um, um, I've seen them on um, Rakuten Global Marketplace for less. I've seen them in Facebook groups for less. So yes, you can, if you look for them, find them for a little bit less than they are retail, which I'm always for saving. So yeah, I mean, I do recommend this. I really love this and it is one of my favorite, favorite pieces. I sold all my SLGs, most all of them. And you know, the ones that I haven't been using, especially all my wallets because I just don't use them as anymore because I only use card holders most of the time. However, this one, I actually, I won't sell this one because I love the functionality of it and I just think it's beautiful and yeah, it's, it's a great piece. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Um, if you like this kind of contact, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and um, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you thought this was useful. So with that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.